The technical definition of statistics is as follows. The analytical summary of certain mathematical methods and experiences that have either been perceived through the senses or specifically observed. Such experiences are called empiricism. Why are statistics, or the specific analysis of data, important? In the space of this short clip, we cannot transform you into a statistician. But we will use two simple examples to demonstrate the importance of statistics and how results can be manipulated using statistical tricks. Example 1. Imagine a big city with one million inhabitants. In 1880, many of those people die from tuberculosis. Years pass and mayors come and go in the government building until we reach the year 1980. Let's suppose that the current mayor of our fictional city is a very thoughtful man, a great organizer, and someone determined to learn from history. He wants to know if medical care in his city has improved over time. So he chooses death from tuberculosis as an indicator and orders City Hall researchers to conduct an official study on all deaths from tuberculosis between the years of 1880 and 1980. His civil servants get to work and soon come up with an evaluation for him. The mayor knows nothing about statistics. Therefore, he interprets the evaluation given to him in a way that demonstrates a continuously decreasing death rate from tuberculosis between 1880 and 1980. His conclusion makes him very satisfied with the city's medical institutions and he believes they must be doing a great job. So, an expensive new hospital is ordered to be built. What our mayor doesn't realize is that the analytical evaluation of the data has been inaccurately presented. In this analysis, the number of deaths was decimalized, or changed to the decimal system, leading to a distortion of the graphic. In this calculation, the number of deaths should have been presented logarithmically, or on a scale that uses a logarithm of the physical quantity. The numbers are identical, but a different presentation changes the graphic instantly. Now it becomes apparent that the death rate only dropped significantly after 1946. If you take into account the fact that in 1946 a terrible war had just ended and people finally had more food and a roof over their heads, the impact of medical institutions on decreasing tuberculosis deaths diminishes greatly. Thus, a different presentation of the same statistics makes it more obvious that the construction of a new hospital was in fact redundant. Example 2. Mistakes made due to a lack of knowledge can unfortunately be intentionally abused. Even doctors are sometimes not above misrepresenting statistics. In 1990, a large pharmaceutical company sent a letter to numerous doctors to play down the side effects of one of its medications, Prozac, an SSRI inhibitor. In the letter, the pharmaceutical company claimed that the medication had been tested on more than 11,000 individuals. The doctors were put at ease by this stat and kept prescribing the medication without second thoughts. What they did not know was that the number had been faked by skillful manipulation. In reality, the medication had only been tested on 286 people rather than 11,000. Furthermore, only 63 patients had been tested for more than two years. The rest in the test study had to stop because of side effects and or ineffectiveness. Even today, there is no study that proves the effectiveness of this medication. Nevertheless, it is still being prescribed. Since the side effects are significant, the company simply extended the package instruction leaflet. Through such simple examples, we can see how important it is to be familiar with stats and studies. All treatment recommendations should either be evidence-based or rely on information from respectable organizations of doctors and scientists that only publish reputable information. You can find out more in the video entitled, Science.